Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving systems of equations by substitution. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given these two equations, negative 2x plus 6y equals 6, and negative 7x plus 8y equals a negative 5. And we want to solve this system by substitution. Well, to do that, I need to get a variable by itself. So I'm looking at these two equations and I want to pick my first one here to try to get the variable x by itself. So that first equation, I have negative 2x plus 6y equals 6. Subtract a 6y to both sides and I have a minus 2x equals a negative 6y plus 6. Now I can divide both sides by negative 2 and we're left with x by itself equals, well negative 6y divided by negative 2 is a positive 3y. 6 divided by negative 2 is a minus 3. So we have x by itself will equal to 3y minus 3, and we need to plug that value into our second equation's x value. So negative 7 here, but instead of x, I'm putting in 3y minus 3, then plus 8y equals a negative 5. And now we need to solve for y. <clears throat> To do that, I'm distributing the minus 7 to both parts. Negative 7 times 3y is a minus 21y. Negative 7 times a negative 3 is a positive 21. We have an 8y here and a negative 5. Well, let's bring our like terms together. Subtract 21 to both sides. Negative 5 minus 21 is a negative 26. Combining the y values, negative 21y plus 8y is a negative 13y. Divide both sides by negative 13, and y equals negative 26 divided by negative 13, and that is a positive 2. So we take that information, and we need to plug it into one of our first two equations to solve for x. I think the first one's easier. So we take negative 2x plus 6, and instead of y, I'm putting that 2 in for it. And that equals 6. Simplify. Oh. Not a 3, that's a 2 there, Sean. So we have minus 2x here, plus 6 times 2 is 12, equals 6. Subtract a 12 to both sides. And 6 minus 12 is a negative 6, and then negative 2x comes down. Divide both sides by negative 2, and x equals negative 6 divided by negative 2, positive 3. So our value for x is 3, y value is 2, and we're given the coordinate point now, 3 comma 2, and that is our final answer. If you found this math video helpful for you, well, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This makes, uh, helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math, minute math, minute math, when you need help, you use Minute Math, MinuteMathTutor.com.